Well, it's a new week, and we have a new way to spend your afternoons here on the Weather Channel with my new partner and your friend, Dave Schwartz. Put her there. We, we are ready to have a good time. We are ready to have a good time, <laughs> and we're so glad that you are with us, too. You know, it's been a glorious day in Boston. You know, the marathon was run today. Hundreds of thousands of people came out to stand Boston strong. As we look ahead to the rest of the week, though, we're tracking rain coming to New England later on. It was a stormy Easter Sunday in the Southern Plains. As we watch the rain in the middle of the country right now, we are going to break down the threat for more severe storms in the middle of the week. That's right, Alex. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Alex Wilson. So glad we're here. So many people at home are like, Yes, Dave's back. And there's some people who are wondering, what's the big hoopla about this guy? They don't know me. But I actually but worked awesome. here up until like five and a half years ago. If you know me, good to see you again. If not, let's You're about let's to roll. be a huge fan. You know, we're <laughs> tracking some rainy weather in the middle of the country, but gorgeous day in the east. Absolutely. I'll tell you, the president was out today. The first family were there, too. They welcomed some happy kids to the South Lawn of the White House for the annual Easter egg roll. About 30,000 guests were expected to attend today. The White House held the event this year to ask people to hop into healthy, swing into shape, encouraging healthy, active lifestyles as we celebrate the long-awaited spring. And here's our version of happy and healthy. Here's Alex. Although, you know, I think of uh, egg roll and then I think of that delicious treat, but uh, not the kind of hoppy, healthy start that I want for, uh, you know, the uh, start of spring. we got a quick <laughs> cool down coming your way, though, in the northeast. So you had a really nice start to the week. Things are going to be changing, though, as you head into the middle part of the week. So get ready. Boston, New York, Philly, those temperatures will be dropping. Right now in New York, though, can't get much better than this for a Monday. 65 degrees, sunshine. You might be looking at that blue sky, though, at your cubicle office, checking the clock, seeing how long it takes till you get to go home and enjoy. It. Temperatures right now, mid-60s for Albany, Burlington, New York, 57 in Boston, and 66 in Washington, D.C. So some very comfortable temps in the parts of the Northeast as we've gone through the day today. Temperatures above average as well. But as we head into midweek, we've got a system that's going to offer up a cold front, offer up some cooler temperatures. That jet stream dipping off to the south, so we'll see those temperatures drop below average as we head into our Wednesday. So over the hump day, we'll actually see those temperatures fall a bit. Mid-60s tomorrow for Boston, New York City. So you got one more warm day, but look what happens on Wednesday. We're going low to mid-50s, low 40s in Binghamton, New York. Buffalo also going to be in the 40s on Wednesday. By Thursday, we'll get back up to the 50s in many spots, 60s for Pittsburgh and Washington, D.C. So you guys actually uh, not too cool for too long. New York City average high this time of year, 63 degrees. Tomorrow, we're going 68. Great Tuesday out there. By Wednesday, a little cooler, 56, but we're right back around average for your Thursday with those temps warming back up into the low 60s. So some good news for you in the Big Apple. Dave, you're going to take us out to the Midwest. Talk about good news, Alex. We had a gorgeous day yesterday here in Chicago. We had sunshine. It hit 79. Well, we're in the 70s today, but as you can see, there is a uh, Bit of a cloudy sky, but nothing's threatening at this point. However, I hope you took your umbrella with you because chances are you're going to need it before the end of the day, perhaps right at rush hour. Ugh, wouldn't that be a drag, huh? But for the time being, at least we are okay here in, in Chicago. Warm, boy, that winter, it's going to be a distant memory, uh, hopefully here soon. Uh, spring showers for the central U.S., not only Chicago, but also St. Louis. Uh, we're looking for some uh, rain. Alex, I wonder if you could put me in a play. Play once. Oh, you got it. Yeah, thank you so much. Could he be a thunder shower around? But I'll tell you, this storm that's moving through the central U.S. right now is, uh, it's like a two, you know, on a scale from one to ten. We've got some rain just leaving Rockford. Could have been a, a little lightning or thunder here from time to time. Some showers headed for St. Louis. But that's just about it. You know, there's no widespread severe threat. However, as we get further south, it's warmer, it's more humid, it's more unstable. And Mother Nature may be playing a little hardball with us later on. You can see the lightning out there that's headed toward Little Rock, Arkansas. We're going to have some thunder showers. There's the storm, a little stronger one off the east coast, a much stronger one off the west coast. We'll get the details on that from Dr. Greg Forbes here in just one minute. But at least for the time being, showers, Indianapolis, Chicago, temperatures in the 70s this afternoon. Then the cold front comes through. It dries us out and cools us off at least for a day or two here in Chicago before the next storm comes on Thursday. Well, for a deeper look into the threat for severe weather, let's check back with Alex. 
Yeah, Dave, because it's actually the middle of the week that we're going to be watching for a lot stormier weather. You mentioned this one, kind of a two out of 10. Severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes joins us live now from the Global Forecast Center. And Dr. Forbes, what day in particular and where are you watching? Well, Wednesday looks like the day that has the biggest tornado threat. And by the way, it's great to have Dave Schwartz back on the Weather Channel. Let's take a look. Yesterday, we had some severe weather associated with an upper low that came across the Texas Panhandle. One tornado around Childress, some baseball size hail in Childress County. Those blue dots are large hail reports. That upper air feature is still moving eastbound. You can see it if you look real carefully. It's not as strong today as it was yesterday. It's rolling across eastern parts of Oklahoma with some thunderstorms there about ready to roll into Arkansas area. And so today we could see there's the thunderstorms that are rolling toward Mena, Arkansas, not severe. Some of those could begin to develop some small hail. Here's the threat today then. Southeast parts of Oklahoma on the south flanks of that upper low, southwest Arkansas, and then including Dallas down into area San Angelo to Del Rio, a relatively low chance of a tornado, but maybe some hail. Tomorrow that system pushes farther east. Probably not much severe thunderstorms, but I wouldn't rule out an isolated severe storm there from Virginia down into Georgia. And as that next western system comes in by evening, I wouldn't rule out an isolated severe thunderstorm there, western parts of Nebraska, western parts of Kansas, eastern parts of Colorado. Here is that next upper system. You can see it's much bigger. You can see it, unlike the one that's in Oklahoma today, and it's going to slowly move its way eastward. By Wednesday, it pushes a uh, stationary front, warm, moist air near the ground coming in toward a little bit of a low there on the Nebraska. South Dakota border at about 5,000 feet. Winds probably about 60 mile per hour from the southwest. And that turning of the winds and increasing with height allows the atmosphere to spin and begin to rotate. Some of those rotating layers get pulled into the, some of the thunderstorms. And so they could give a few tornadoes. I'm thinking anywhere from southeast parts of South Dakota, eastern half of Nebraska, central Kansas, western Oklahoma, down into western Texas. These red shaded areas have a chance of a tornado. I've given a torque on a four there near that little wave of low pressure, southeast South Dakota, eastern Nebraska, eastern Texas Panhandle, western parts of Oklahoma, and Torcons of threes across the rest of the area as we head into Thursday a little farther east from Iowa to Missouri, down into parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas, down into northeast parts of Texas. Tornado threat not as high on Thursday as it is on Wednesday. So we're beginning to get into a little bit more active pattern severe weather wise, but it's been a pretty near record low start to the year thus far for severe weather and tornadoes. Let's hope it doesn't get too bad, guys. Yeah, let's hope we don't make up for lost time. Thanks so much, Dr. Forbes, and thanks for the, uh, the kind words, too. Awesome guy, too. Yes. All right, Weather Center Live, we're just getting started. Ahead, we are going to kick off Earth Week. That's coming up. That's right. And we'll also focus on the southeast, including Atlanta, and show you when rain and thunderstorms return there. Stick around with us, will you? We're back after your local on the 8s. But first, we're going to leave you with a sneak peek at Washington, D.C., one of the spots having an awesome Monday. Love it. Love that view. Gorgeous. people love. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. So now you're bringing Bridgestone's tire technology to the sports world in the form of this performance soccer ball? That's right. The same extreme grip and performance technology we engineer into our Potenza tires is being tested here with the help of U.S. soccer star Alex Morgan. Seriously? A little too much grip. Yeah, well, it does make for a great tire. At Bridgestone, our passion for performance knows no bounds. Monday nights, the Weather Channel brings you the most furious displays of Mother Nature's rage ever caught on film. The whole house came apart. Whoa, did you see that? Raging Nature, Monday nights at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently, the temperature is 65 degrees under sunny skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 66, winds light and variable.
for tonight. A few passing clouds otherwise generally clear. Low 43. Winds light and variable. Our week ahead. On the Weather Channel. The 2013 Honda Fit. It's been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List seven times. It received a 35 MPG highway rating and has the most cargo space in its class. And it has the best resale value in its class according to KBB.com. And if that weren't good enough, right now you can get the best deal of the year on the 2013 Honda Fit you've always wanted. Get to the Spring into a Honda sales event today and get a great deal on a 2013 Honda Fit. Start something special now at your Honda dealer. Eliminate odors and reduce allergens with new Febreze Allergen Reducer. Want to see some allergens? Ew! Ew! What is that thing? They could be all around you right now. <gasps> How would you deal with them? Um, ninjas. No need for ninjas. Reduce up to 95% of inanimate allergens becoming airborne from fabrics with new, dermatologist-tested Febreze Allergen Reducer. Get fresher air and breathe happy. Also available in AirFX. Beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. Look at that sunshine. Just some layered clouds, but those clouds will thicken up and there's a chance for thunder showers in the forecast. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but first, here's Alex. Dave, have you ever been to Nashville? Never. Oh, it's a great place. They've got the dueling piano bars, which are probably the most fun you're ever going to have on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night, but you can request whatever song you want. Great stuff. So much talent in the city of Nashville. You know, we had a glorious end to the weekend yesterday across parts of the southeast. Today, also great, but rain is coming, and you know, it's coming on a Tuesday. That's not that bad, I suppose. While you're sitting in the office, that's when you want 8 degrees on your thermometer. Winds out of the south-southwest around 8 miles per hour. Tonight, that's when we're going to be see, begin to see those rain showers. Some of the thunderstorms work into parts of especially western Tennessee, but edging up near the Nashville area. Tomorrow, Nashville, Charlotte, Atlanta, Jackson, New Orleans all get in on that chance of showers and storms, and they'll stay scattered across parts of the Gulf Coast into the southeast region even tomorrow night. So places off towards the east of Greenville, Gaffney, the Peach, might see some lightning around that. Raleigh, Charleston also watching for a little action down towards Savannah. Not around Jacksonville, but Tallahassee, Florida. I think you'll see some thunderstorms by Tuesday night. Nashville, your time frame is really going to be tonight and into Tuesday. By Tuesday night, things in western and central Tennessee will actually begin to quiet down. Hit or miss thunderstorms, 59 tonight. Tomorrow, highs right around average with a chance of spotty thunderstorms. By Tuesday night, though, those temps will be in the mid-40s. So cool and crisp as you head out for morning classes on on the campus of Vanderbilt, which you're looking at right now behind the seven day forecast. Nashville 70 is your high on Wednesday. We're back to the low 80s Thursday and Friday with a mix of sun and clouds. Great end to the week. Your happy hour plans. Grab the patio seat because you're going to want to be out there even Saturday, although it's going to be a little cooler. Temperatures will be comfortable. We're right back up to the low 80s on Sunday. Dave. Gotta love those numbers, yes. man. 80 degrees. Nice. Hey, today begins Earth Week. If you have a plan to go greener, meteorologist Julie Martin shows you how to save some cash while you make your home more energy efficient. I wanted to see how efficient my home was and see if I could achieve any savings on my utility bills. I wanted to show you. To do that, Tucson resident Susan Waits hired energy consultant Robert Bulacek to do an audit. When he does his audit, Bulacek uses thermal imaging to help measure and identify heat loss. But you want to see a nice, even color. The brighter the colors, the more heat there is. Cooler colors, the opposite. One of his findings, something Bulacek says is common, but not something homeowners usually consider. I was surprised to find out how leaky my duct system was. I wasn't anticipating that. About 20% of the money she was putting into heating and cooling was never making it into the house. What she was able to do is seal the ducts and they went from 20% leakage to down around 4% leakage, which, which is the standards of a new home. So she took this 30-year-old home and brought it up to new home standards. Using his camera, he found missing insulation in the wall. A hidden flaw. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And just uh, something that can be easily fixed. They, mm. could, they could drill a hole in the exterior wall and blow insulation in that. It's really interesting to see it on a, a infrared camera. Uh, you can really see real evidence of uh, yeah, what's yeah. missing there. Some fixes will cost, but many utility companies offer rebates to offset the outlay. And Waits says she's willing to spend now to reap rewards year after year. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, The Weather Channel. Way to go, guys. You know, living green, smart. Always. Any any little changes you can make, especially if they add up to big savings, good stuff. And it helps all of us. Yeah. Hey, Texas is once again in the heart of the severe storm threat. Next on Weather Center Live, we're tracking where the storms are now and where the tornado threat is already at a tour cut of four later this week. Stay with us. At Panera Bread, we make everything with care. And that makes people very happy. Like Alyssa, who is devoted to our bacon turkey bravo. And Tia, who craves our Fuji apple chicken salad. Or Katie, who can't get enough broccoli cheddar soup. At Panera, we make them with care. You make them favorites. Find your favorite today. Find your Panera Bread favorite and share with us. Hashtag Panera Faves. Prilosex not made for immediate heartburn relief. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. Prilosec can take 24 hours. Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Sand in our shoes. Sand in our pockets. Maybe even some in our hair. No matter where we find it, sand is our souvenir from a summer day well spent along Michigan's 3,000 mile stretch of Golden Shore. So leave the briefcase behind and grab a t-shirt and a pair of cutoffs instead. Because come sunset, our toes will be digging in to pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan.org. I am a painter and Scotch Blue is my tape. I'm a painter and Scotch Blue is my tape. Pro painters count on Scotch Blue. Now with advanced edge lock paint line protector for even sharper paint lines. I am a painter and Scotch Blue is my tape. Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. It says here that a woman's sex drive increases at the age of 80. Helps reduce the risk of heart disease. Keep heart healthy. Live long. Eat the 100% goodness of post-shredded wheat. Doctors recommend it. The Earth moves around the sun. But man moves the Earth. With best-in-class torque and best-in-class towing, these are some of the bold new Ram commercial trucks built to tilt the axis of capability. Guts, glory, Ram. When nature's rage is unleashed, only the Weather Channel gets you this close to the point of impact. On the next Raging Nature, it's tornadoes like you've never seen. Raging Nature, all new tonight at 9 on the Weather Channel. Are you a man? This is my home security system from Protection One. When I'm not at home, it keeps me connected to my family. <laughs> that saves me from worrying. Protection One is the trusted choice of nearly 2 million people and is rated A-plus by the Better Business Bureau. Switch to Protection One and save $120 off your existing bill, guaranteed. Getting Protection One was the smartest call we ever made. And a week after they installed it, it saved our lives. Go to ProtectionOne.com slash save to get your system installed today. Spring Beauty Event featuring the exclusive launch of Sophia, the new fragrance by Sophia Vergara, April 24th on HSN. A town down to their last drop, cracked, running out of water. A special investigation, Tuesday at 7 on America's Morning Headquarters. Currently in our area, 64 degrees under sunny skies. Here's our local Doppler radar.
today. Plentiful sunshine. High 66. Winds light and variable. For tonight, a few passing clouds otherwise generally clear. Low, 43. Winds light and variable. The week ahead. You're watching Weather Center Live, and you're looking at a reported rope tornado spotted near Childress, Texas on Sunday. The storm also brought a lot of lightning and even baseball-sized hail. Let's check what's happening today with Alex Wilson and the severe weather update. Alex? All right, Dave, we're actually going to start with some great, great news. This year, we've had a good trend for tornadoes. No tornado deaths through April 20th. That will be a record since 1950. So we are looking at a record setting year. Our last tornado death was back before Christmas of 2013. So in the year 2014, no tornado deaths in the US. Right now we are watching some unsettled weather through parts of Arkansas back into Oklahoma. We've got some heavier showers, a few rumbles of thunder possible. Now today, best chance of severe will be from San Angelo to Dallas to Hot Springs. This area in the deeper shade of red, this is the zone to watch for the better chance of strong or severe thunderstorms. Outside of that area in the orange, it is possible Possible to see some thunderstorms, spotty damaging winds, spotty hail. That's the big threats for today. Water vapor imagery showing the next system. You notice this dip off towards the west of Seattle. Now this is going to bring the northwest part of the country some wet weather, but it's not going to really make significant impacts until it gets into the central part of the U.S. So through Wednesday morning, one to two inches from Seattle to Portland, getting close to Medford, mainly on the west side or east side, I should say, of those towns. Generally, though, less than an inch into parts of the northwestern U.S. But as we get towards midweek, that strong disturbance, that's going to push eastward, and we're going to see some of that warm, moist air drawn out of the Gulf of Mexico into parts of the central U.S. We've got a developing storm system that dry line setting up and those storms will fire along that as we go through the midweek thunderstorm threat all the way from the Great Lakes, Minneapolis and Chicago down into parts of Texas, including Dallas, Midland, getting towards the Austin area as well. And we've already got some decent Torcon values for the day. Wednesday, 4 out of 10 into parts of Nebraska. We've also got a 4 out of 10 for the eastern Texas panhandle, western Oklahoma. And what a 4 out of 10 means is a 40% chance of a tornado within a given location. So we are watching for a stronger chance of severe or strong storms into the midweek. Omaha, Nebraska, one of the areas to watch, thunderstorms and wind on Wednesday and we are going to keep it windy into your Thursday. The storms will be done at that point, but the winds will stay gusty Friday. Nice end to the week with sunshine. Dave. Thanks for the heads up, Alex. Well, in a resort town in Wyoming, all eyes are on a creeping landslide. It slowed a bit this weekend, but experts fear the mountainside could eventually collapse. NBC's Joe Fryer takes a look. Video taken from the air shows a fractured hillside in Jackson, Wyoming, with cracks large enough to rip a vacant home in half. What started two weeks ago as a slow-moving slide has picked up speed. Already the earth is buckling beneath the parking lot of a new drugstore as more rocks and gravel tumble down with officials warning the chunks could get bigger. There was quite a bit of rock slide occurred. Across the country, the U.S. Geological Survey says there are hundreds of thousands of landslides and mudslides each year. And like many other natural hazards, they actually do endanger people's lives occasionally. On average, landslides kill 25 to 50 people a year and create more than $1 billion in damage. Last month, a massive, fast-moving mudslide leveled Oso, Washington, killing at least 39. In Wyoming, experts say it's unlikely this slope will collapse quickly. Still, several homes remain evacuated with no end in sight in a place where the hills are best known for skiing, not landslides. For today, Joe Fryer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thank you, Joe. Well, now to the latest on the deadly avalanche on Mount Everest. You heard about this? Search teams have now recovered a 13th body buried by the snow. A group it's the deadliest accident ever on Mount Everest. An ABC News team was there working on a production for the Discovery Channel. They're all okay, but the production has been canceled out of respect for the families who lost loved ones. Several guides have asked for the entire climbing season be canceled. Mm. All right, well, St. Louis, a lot of the Midwest. We're tracking rain and storms to start the week for you. 
We're going to tell you what you need to do to break out the umbrella after your local on the 8th. And New York City, you'll also need the umbrella. We'll be back. Just feather it out. That's okay, right. Feather it that's out. right. Okay. All right. That's okay. Now put it in second. Put it in second. Slow it down. Put the clutch in. Break it. Break it. Just like I showed you. Dad, you didn't show me. You showed him. Dad, he's going to wreck the car. He's not going to wreck the car. No fighting in the road, please. Put your blinker on. You didn't even give me a chance. Okay. We got the new Subaru because nothing could break our old one. Okay. What the heck? Let go my side. I hope the same goes for my husband. You guys are doing a great job. Seriously. Love a car that lasts. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. I'm only in my 60s. I've got a nice long life ahead. Big plans. So when I found out Medicare doesn't pay all my medical expenses, I looked at my options. Then I got a Medicare supplement insurance plan. If you're eligible for Medicare, you may know it only covers about 80% of your Part B medical expenses. The rest is up to you. Call now and find out about an AARP Medicare supplement insurance plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Like all standardized Medicare supplement insurance plans, it helps pick up some of what Medicare doesn't pay and could save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. To me, relationships matter. I've been with my doctor for 12 years. Now I know I'll be able to stick with them. With these types of plans, you'll be able to visit any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare patients. Plus, there are no networks and virtually no referrals needed. So don't wait. Call now and request this free decision guide to help you better understand Medicare and which AARP Medicare supplement plan might be best for you. There's a wide range to choose from. We love to travel, and there's so much more to see. So we found a plan that can travel with us anywhere in the country. Join the millions of people who have already enrolled in the only Medicare supplement insurance plans endorsed by AARP, an organization serving the needs of people 50 and over for generations. Remember, all Medicare supplement insurance plans help cover what Medicare doesn't pay and could save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. Call now to request your free decision guide and learn more about the kinds of plans that will be here for you now and down the road. I have a lifetime of experience, so I know how important that is. <gasps> Hello, beautiful. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, Anthony. How much did my discount double check save me? About 150. Done. I don't have State Farm, but insurance, find me money. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You could be quicker than that. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you with unexpected savings. That's getting to a better state. How do you feel about the person staring back at you? Join us as we help you reclaim the beauty within yourself. Our special series, Love Your Selfie, returns only on today on NBC. Currently, the temperature is 64 degrees under sunny skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 66, winds light and variable. For tonight, a few passing clouds otherwise generally clear, low 43, winds light and variable. Here's our seven-day outlook. Tuesday, a town down to their last drop, cracked, running out of water. A special investigation, Tuesday at 7 on America's Morning Headquarters. This is a triumphant day under some amazing weather for the city of Boston. 36,000 runners took part in the annual Boston Marathon.
and a much heavier security presence along the route. One year after a bombing near the finish line killed three people and injured 264 others. It made this Patriots Day even more special than an American. Neb Kaplishti was the winner. First American man to win since 1983. So what just was over 30 years. What was his name Neb Kaplishti. <laughs> We've been hey. practicing that all break. Thanks for joining us here on Weather Center Live. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Alex Wilson. We're off to a fantastic start. Really, Fabulous. no matter what your Monday plans were along the East, of course, the marathon runners, you got to give them props. But those of us who just like happy hours right. on a patio restaurant spot, good for them, and, too. Uh, what, what about the Easter egg roll in Washington, D.C.? Perfect the, the, for that. The day after Easter? What's with that? I don't get I don't it. Know. They're fashionably late. Can we talk about weather? They're cool. Let's do it. All right. All right we want to take a live look at Dallas, Texas, one of the spots that actually has some warmer days ahead. They're going to like that. You're starting off the week with a little bit of cloud cover around the big D, but those temps will be working their way up as we go into the coming day. So let's talk about the warmer temps, not just for the south central, but also into the southeast. Places like the ATL, Nashville, you guys are going to be warming up as well. Temperatures right now in Atlanta, 72 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. So very close to average for this time of year. That is in the mid 70s. Visibilities around 10 miles with calm winds. Great day to read the newspaper. Yesterday was a tricky one in Atlanta with the winds still kicking. I know I saw a few people struggling with the newspaper, some of those outdoor coffee shops. We've got 76 in Montgomery, 77 in Jackson, 80 in Miami, 74 in Wilmington, North Carolina, and Jacksonville, Florida, 71 at the Mouse House, Orlando, Florida. All right, cooler air retreating as we head through the early part of the week with milder air moving into this part of the country. So really all the way from central and eastern Texas towards the southeast, you've got those milder, more comfortable temperatures heading your way. So post-school, post-work, it's going to be great to get outside today. Nashville in the upper 70s, Memphis mid 70s. Tomorrow we're looking at upper 70s in Montgomery, Jackson. You're in the upper 70s as well. And then by Wednesday, places like Savannah getting in on those upper 70s, low 70s for Atlanta and Charlotte 70 in Nashville for the middle of your week. 80 in Montgomery. Here is your Atlanta temperature streak as we go through Thursday. Average high this time of year, as I mentioned, is in the mid 70s and we're going to stay pretty close to that as we go through the next few days. So exactly what you would expect for the late part of April in the ATL. Of course, we'll be watching for a few showers and storms tomorrow before things quiet down on Wednesday. Dave, over to you. We're heading west to St. Louis, gateway to the west. And there is the arch, huh? We've got cloudy skies, had a few sprinkles earlier this morning, but we're doing okay right now. Showers are in the forecast for the rest of the afternoon, but 71 sure feels good. And out in Manchester, west of town, it is 70. It is just lovely. Spring is back. What a pleasure, huh? A few more spring showers are possible as this little disturbance moves by. There's one piece of energy in Illinois. There's, it looks like we're in the clear here, but as we pull out a little bit, you'll be able to see that there are more sh showers upstream. A little lightning, a little thunder. These storms should generally intensify for the rest of the afternoon, and they'll head towards St. Louis and towards Chicago, just north of Chicago right now. So right here in the middle of the country, that's where you've got the wettest weather. The only lightning or the concerted effort by Mother Nature to play hardball right now is right here, heading into uh, western Arkansas. We'll get the threat for severe weather from Dr. Greg Forbes. And there's another storm that's sitting off the west coast right now. That is going to be a doozy. Right now, the middle of the country, dew point temperatures, moisture in the air. Notice how we're 65 in Dallas, 57 in St. Louis, and 49. This is where the moisture is. This is where the fuel to fire the thunderstorms is. Our little weak disturbance today is going to set off some rough weather, and we could get in on some of that later on here in St. Louis, right about afternoon rush hour, I'm afraid. But a cold front will slide through, will cool off and dry out in St. Louis after that. Then the next storm comes a knocking on the door, and that'll be Thursday into Thursday night in St. Louis. But let's get more details. Here's that uh, forecast for the next round of severe weather. This one could be more dangerous, so you might want to bring that one up with the kids at the dinner table here tonight. And speaking of severe weather, Dr. Greg Forbes, as I mentioned before, he is the man. He's keeping a close eye on the kind of minimal threat today, but a more significant threat later this week. Right, Greg? Yeah, absolutely, Dave. A Wednesday looks like the day that has the biggest tornado threat this week, at least a Torcon 4 in a good many places in the central U.S. Uh, might go a little higher than that. Today, we could get some hail, though, around the Dallas area. Take a look. Yesterday, we had quite a bit of hail when the upper low was out over the 
Texas Panhandle. Today, you have to kind of look pretty hard to see any kind of spin there, but it's over eastern parts of Oklahoma. On the south flanks of that, though, we could get some severe thunderstorms. Not much going on right now, just one little cluster of thunderstorms heading over toward Mena, Arkansas. A few thunderstorms trying to fire up behind that, but it is a situation that has Gulf of Mexico moisture that has returned across the area. You can see there the, the clouds, some breaks in the clouds there, so that will allow things to get a little bit more unstable in this moist area from southeast parts of uh, 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 Oklahoma over into southwest Arkansas and from northeast to south central parts of Texas, including the Dallas area. Here and there, there could be some hail. Today on the Torcon Tornado Condition Index of 10, it's only about a 2 in those areas. Tomorrow, this weather system continues off to the east. It's spring. We could get thunderstorms across a big area. There might be a couple of severe ones here and there, not enough for red on the map. Eastern Virginia down across the parts of the Carolinas into South Georgia in southern parts of Alabama. And as that next system comes in off the west coast, maybe by evening, a chance of a couple isolated severe thunderstorms, western parts of Kansas and Nebraska, eastern part of Colorado. Here is that next upper system. You don't have to look very hard to find that dip in the jet stream there. And that energy, that jet stream energy, will slowly push its way eastward by Wednesday. We'll see a, a front setting up warm, moist air from the surface all the way from the Gulf of Mexico east of that. Plenty of moisture for the storms at low levels. A little bit dry aloft, but 5,000 foot winds about 60 mile per hour from the southwest. So look how they change direction. And when the winds change direction like that, the low levels, the low layer of the atmosphere, the inflow of the storm starts spinning. And some of the storms tilt that up into the vertical to make the whole thunderstorm rotate and give the chance of an isolated tornado. So that's what we could see anywhere from southeast South Dakota across the eastern half of Nebraska, central parts of Kansas, western Oklahoma, western parts of Texas on Wednesday. And I've given a torque on of four uh, for parts of southeast South Dakota and eastern Nebraska. There'll be a little bit of a surface low there and maybe another wave of low pressure eastern Texas and western Oklahoma. But everywhere in red will have a torque on of at least three. So at least a 30 to 40 percent chance of tornadoes in this area on Wednesday and a little less so as it gets towards St. Louis and parts of Iowa and down into Arkansas on Thursday. Let's go now to the Northeast with Alex. Thanks, Dr. Forbes. Yeah, because we are going to be watching the Northeast, not necessarily for the storm threat, but the rain threat. So, uh, you know, not going to be the brightest of days. Might put you in a little gloomier mood as we head into the middle part of the week. Boston, though, right now, you've got a great day for running. Marathon still going on, 58 degrees under those mostly cloudy skies. We've got the winds around nine miles an hour out of the east southeast. I assume pretty comfortable running conditions for those folks. Don't like it to be too hot or too cold. Tomorrow, the rain showers move in, so it stayed out just long enough for them to get that marathon in. By tomorrow night, that's when we begin to see the steadier rain across parts of New England. Even on Wednesday, some lingering showers for parts of New England and northern New York. Might even see some snow showers or mix in places like Buffalo up towards the Watertown, northern New York areas. And uh, on Wednesday, though, the steadiest rain, the heaviest rain will be sticking into parts of eastern Maine. Boston, here's your forecast. Tuesday, mix of sun and clouds. The rain really begins to work in in earnest Tuesday night. We'll still see have a few rain showers lingering into your Wednesday, but it's not going to be a washout of a day. Luckily for Boston, a lot of that rain is going to be coming during the overnight hours while you're sleeping. If you like sleeping with the rain on the rooftop, you are in luck because that's what you've got Boston. Thursday, sunshine returns. It is going to be a windy day though in the uh, bean town area on Friday. You've got the clouds to end the week. Few showers for your Saturday. Sunday, the sunshine's back, but you notice those temps will be a little cooler in the mid 50s. Dave, over to you. Well, a, vi a viewer's favorite best videos of the day are next on the Weather Channel Live. Next, see if this reported meteorite sighting can take number one in our top five. Plus, our winter weather expert Tom Nizzle says goodbye to winter in a very special way. Currently in our area, 65 degrees under sunny skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 66, winds light and variable. For tonight, a few passing clouds otherwise generally clear. Low, 43. Winds light and variable. Our seven-day outlook.
sweetness of milk, all the deliciousness of Hershey's syrup. Squeeze, stir, share. If you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis like me, and you're talking to your rheumatologist about a biologic, this is Humira. This is Humira helping to relieve my pain. This is Humira helping me lay the groundwork. This is Humira helping to protect my joints from further damage. Doctors have been prescribing Humira for 10 years. Humira works by targeting and helping to block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to RA symptoms. Humira is proven to help relieve pain and stop further joint damage in many adults. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal events such as infections, lymphoma, or other types of cancer have happened. Blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure have occurred. Before starting Humira, your doctor should test you for TB. Ask your doctor if you live in or have been to a region where certain fungal infections are common. Tell your doctor if you have had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have symptoms such as fever, fatigue, cough, or sores. You should not start Humira if you have any kind of infection. Take the next step. Talk to your doctor. This is Humira at work. Hey! Defiance is in our bones. Defiance never grows old. Citricol Maximum Calcium Citrate Plus D. Highly soluble, easily absorbed. So what's the verdict? Can't fix your air conditioner. Need a new one. Uh-oh. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Daikin. Daikin? Daikin. One of the top selling in the world. Daikin? Daikin. Extremely reliable, performance tested. So what's he thinking? Oh, he's thinking Daikin. Daikin. Super efficient. Can save big every month on energy bills. Now I'm thinking Daikin. <laughs> Daikin. Comfort for life. As part of your service, we did a 27-point inspection on your Chevy. You got new tires and our price match guarantee. Who's this little guy? That's Bernie. Oh, I bet that cone gives him supersonic hearing. Watch what you say around him. <laughs> I've been talking a lot about his procedure. I talked on the conversation over here. What? Get our everyday price match guarantee plus a $100 rebate on four select tires from your tire experts. Chevy Certified Service. Dear son, meet your biggest competitor. Philips Slim Style LED Bulb. Beautiful quality light with a slim design at a slim price. Three vacuum cleaners. Three paths of test dust. Only one has powerful suction without the hassle of a cord. When you need more traction, Pep Boys Tires Made Easy process matches your vehicle with the tire that's just right for you. Trust the boys to get you there. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. It is time now for our top five, where we take a look at all of the amazing weather videos from around the world. Great around stuff. the world. Number five. Drum roll, please. Rain, wind, and the most damaging hail. Oh. Hitting hard in children. Look at that. Even totaling some cars because of significant uh, body damage from the hail. Huh? Hail is the worst thing. I think that's one of the reasons why I don't think I'll ever get a brand new car because you just know that the second you drive it off, that could happen. If you live oh, in parts of the on. South Central. Buy a new car once I in a while. I won't do it. No, I have bought a new car, but now I just love it too much. All right, no number four. Storm trackers in North Texas captured this video of a supercell that spawned severe weather. In the Lone Star State, what would you do if you saw something like that coming towards you? You definitely get moving the other way like these cars are doing, but it's always interesting to see this. Look at how quickly you've gone from daylight to just complete darkness. I know. Oh, just awesome. Oh, look at that. Look really at that. Really incredible video. Shelf cloud. All awesome. right, number three, we've got another supercell. That same one just can do damage. A suspected meteorite. This is video number two. A meteorite explosion reportedly lit up the sky over a city in Russia early Whoa. Saturday morning. Yes, a driver snapped this video on his dash camera while he was driving. Thank Are goodness we see that, that again everyone here? in Russia has dash cameras. Look at that. Very cool wow, stuff. Wow, a meteorite explosion. And they had that one last year that was caught on camera, and now we're seeing another one. All right, now we're your number one video of the day. And this one takes us over to Europe. This is a big water spout wow. in Italy. 
nearing the coastline. If you're anywhere along this coast, you are keeping a very close eye on this. And you better keep a close eye on the Weather Channel later this week because we could very well have some of those. Right, we'll be Wednesday watching for our own storm threat. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Dr. Greg Forbes will be on top of that. Now you can upload your videos anytime at weather.com slash photos. Well, it's been a tough winter for all of you taking on the storm after winter storm, just one after the other, hasn't it's it really been? It's really been relentless. It's and been our exhausting. winter weather expert, Tom Nizzle, went through it almost, almost the entire alphabet as he warned you about what was ahead. All right, and now he's officially over done with winter. He's breaking up with winter. That's what he told the team on Wake Up With Al this Big morning. Time. <laughs> You know, I tried to get in shape for the winter, but it, this just ran me ragged, guys. So, <laughs> hey, I'm done. I don't know about you, but I'm done. What do you think? <laughs> Someone get the man a drink. What oh, do you like, margaritas, yeah. hey, a TJ, beer? Thank you, by the way. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, they had a drink for him. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that hot guy. Wait, bring that guy what? back, too. No, no that's uh, Tom. Yeah, there you go. He'll be our winter <laughs> weather you. expert next year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't figure it out. They sent Cantori to Curacao, and they got me a plastic flamingo. I <laughs> wow. That's... Well, at least you have two plastic palm trees and maybe some water you can splash around in those a little bit later, like in a kiddie pool. That's yeah. terrific. Well, Tom, you certainly earned your keep this yeah. winter, and uh, you uh, you get a deserved send off because, my friend, you kept us ahead of these storms and did such a terrific job. Well, it, you know, it was a really long winter. A lot of records set across the country. I'll tell you what, not only snow, but cold weather as well. This is a winter to remember in a lot of respects, guys. I think we have some stats here that we can bring up to kind of summarize what happened. You take a look at a place like, uh, you know, up in Marquette, Michigan, five below zero on April 16th. Uh, you know, unbelievable sub-zero temperature, the latest recorded, you know, more than a foot of snow on the ground still. And we are in mid-April here. You take a look at Detroit, 95 inches of snow, a winter record there. And by the way, the Great Lakes, record levels of ice cover at this time of the year. So we still have a little bit of winter to go, but I'm done. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Ah, boy, that, that's going out in class, isn't it? A lot of people done, but he's got a point. Cantorian got to go to Curacao, and he got to go to that set. We and need to work uh, something out for him. Greg Forbes, our severe weather expert, just uh, <laughs> talked to me in my ear. He wants a send off like that, too, like exactly. in July and August. Ho hopefully he doesn't need a vacation. Hopefully his season isn't as busy. But, yeah, we got to – our experts, we got to keep them happy and, and comfortable and, and rewarded. But, Tom, man, he has had a year. A to Y for winter storms this year. It's A nuts. to Y, 25 of them. It's nuts. My parents visiting from the Northeast, they were just like, we just want some warmth because this winter has been ridiculous. Stop the kvetching is what I say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we want you to listen up from Dallas to Des Moines. We've got severe weather in the forecast later this week. That's right. In just minutes, our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, there he is, is here to pinpoint the areas at greatest risk for tornadoes. We leave you with a live look at Philly. Stay with us. We are back after your local on the 8th. Hometown. Hello. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm on it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Thanks, Melinda. Uh, wait, uh, I have blah, blah insurance, so person, come help. Hey, Grandma. Dad, look who it is. I see who it is. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. You're not helping. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you anytime, anywhere, any way. That's getting to a better state. Tornado Week returns to the Weather Channel, starting with the premiere of Tornado Alley. Tornado, Tornado Week touches down next Monday on the Weather Channel. You About the person staring back at you. Join us as we help you reclaim the beauty within yourself. Our special series, Love Your Selfie, returns only on today on NBC. Currently, the temperature is 65 degrees under sunny skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 66, winds light and variable. I'm standing in the pouring rain, I feel it like a hurricane. A photograph is all it takes, but I know I shouldn't let it. And memory 
for tonight. A few passing clouds, otherwise generally clear. Low, 43. Winds light and variable. Our week ahead. I see you care about cleaner air. Just be cool. You like my giant filtrate filter? Well, you can see why you need the right filter to capture bacteria, pollen, viruses, even pet dander. My healthy living filter captures small particles four times better than ordinary plated filters. It's got to be a filtrate filter, especially with this little one breathing that air all day. She likes you. Oh, you are cute. Do you babysit? I do, actually. It's oh. part time. Make it right with filtrate filters. Filtrate, a better filter means better air. Average women's tees versus a gawking gopher. <laughs> Duluth trading long tail tees versus a gawking gopher. Tee. Two extra inches to defend your back end. Get one only at DuluthTrading.com. I've always seen Madison Riverside features alluring ambiance. Enticing chef selections in a relaxing atmosphere with a chic yet charming decor. The Madison Riverside, from your big day to the everyday. On Lafayette Street in Riverside or online at cafemadison.com. I'm taking off. But uh, don't worry, I'm going to leave the TV on for you. And if anything happens, don't forget about the new Xfinity My Account app. You can troubleshoot technical issues here. If you make an appointment, you can check out the status here. Uh, you can pay the bill, too, but don't worry about that right now. Okay, how do I look? Thanks. Troubleshoot, manage appointments, and bill pay from your phone. Introducing the Xfinity My Account app. Tuesday, a town down to their last drop. Cracked, running out of water. A special investigation, Tuesday at 7 on America's Morning Headquarters. It's a day of celebration and relief in Boston, huh? With 36,000 runners taking part in the Boston Marathon today. It was an incredible show of strength one year after, of course, the deadly bombing we all remember. And the Weather Channel's Reagan Medji has been there through the race. She has this report. It is a beautiful day here in Boston for the 118th Boston Marathon. And the winner is, everyone is wondering, for the men's elite, it's Meb Keflezgi. He finished the Boston Marathon in two hours and eight minutes. And a big wow factor of this is it's the first time since 1983 that an American man has finished the Boston Marathon. And for the women's elite, it is Rita Jeptu of Kenya and a course record of two hours, 28 minutes, and 57 seconds. Now the finish line of the Boston Marathon is right behind me about six and a half blocks that way. That is also the site of the tragic and the deadly Boston bombing last year during the marathon. And this year's theme for the Boston Marathon is Boston Strong and that's exactly what it is. You can see banners behind me. These come from all over the country. Messages of support, love and of course the message of being Boston strong. All the runners received a shirt that says Boston runs as one. They also received a bracelet from all of the banners last year made into a bracelet for those runners. So a lot of the spectators and the runners have that mindset of Boston is strong. The second largest group of runners, 37,000 runners, 5,000 of those runners were runners who were not able to complete the marathon last year due to that deadly bombing. And the rest of those excess runners are runners of, from hospital workers to fire fighters to police officers. A lot of strength here in Boston today for the 118th Boston Marathon. I'm Reagan Medji for the Weather Channel. Back to you. Thanks, Reagan. That really is a relief, huh? Beautiful, beautiful weather along the East Coast. 
But check it out here in Arkansas. We've got some showers and thunder showers moving through. No warnings right now, but these are headed toward Hope, Arkansas and Little Rock. And as they move through the Ozark Plateau here too, right here in the middle of the country, that's where we've got some active weather and it promises to get a little more exciting later on. From Arkansas back to Southeast Oklahoma, Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex, are you watching? Huh? It's humid, dew point temperatures in the upper 60s and the threat for possibly some hail, maybe even an isolated tornado all the way back to the Rio Grande Valley. But the big weather star of this week is sitting off the West Coast. Look at this dip in the jet stream. Holy simoleons, you got a full latitude trough. Right now in Seattle, some rain developing in the mountains. By the way, as that trough moves in, it's gonna get colder and rain will change to snow. Not in Seattle or Portland, it'll just be rain for you this afternoon and tonight. But up here, if you're heading I-90 between Seattle and Spokane, snow levels down to 3,000 feet tomorrow, huh? 3,000 feet. So you'll need your chains or your snow tires or something, right? So heads up, wind and rain moving into the northern Rockies as well. So that's going to be the big story, okay? Rain for you, Seattle. Rain for Portland. This is the end of the wet season. We can handle it. We can use it. Sure, it would be nice to get it further south, but it looks like that is not going to happen. The big story this week, though, is as that storm, that big trough, moves out to the middle of the country where that warm, humid air is rolling in off the Gulf of Mexico, kaboom! The threat for severe weather will have a warm front, tornadoes possible there, and then along that dry line, thunderstorms will move from Kansas and Oklahoma through Texas, middle of the country. It's going to be rough. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Dave. You know, this has been a day many of us here at the Weather Channel and many of you guys at home have been waiting a long time for. And that is, of course, the return of Dave Schwartz. And I'm so excited to be working with him because I know that I've got a front row seat to some first class funny stuff. So here is a look back at some of the unique perspective that Dave brings to the forecast. I just want to kind of get in here for a second. Is there any resemblance to Mickey Mouse at all? You know, I just have a feeling that I'm in that picture somewhere. The Big Chill. Starring Jeff Goldblum. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, no, I'm Dave Schwartz. And actually, this is Dave, I believe. <laughs> Good to see you, folks. Where were those smiles, anyhow? Dave Schwartz alongside the Hootie Owl. Wow. Look at all this rain. Good to see you, I'm Dave Schwartz. Mother Nature will give us a little slap in the face. Oh, boy, is that a well-defined eye. Man, I'll tell you what, that and there's the Arctic Circle. Woo, look how cold it is over there. M maybe it really is Mike. Hi, I'm Mike Seidel. Getting milder here in the plains. Is that the phone? Is there a phone? There you go. Yes, thank it's you. It's your wife, Simple. It's my wife. <laughs> Hi, honey, I've got the... Oh, I look yeah. so little. i got to step out. <laughs> honey, let me give the phone. Okay. I, I love you too. Bye. <laughs> give it a little extra time. <laughs> Look at this, Amarillo, 22 degrees above average, Cincinnati, 15 Let's degrees. Let's just drop this tape. I mean, I know it's drop nice. what? Drop this map. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun. Is this the Comedy Channel or what? Da -da -da. <laughs> Stay tuned for more jokes. we got good stuff ahead. See you guys. Currently in our area, 66 degrees under sunny skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. Today, plentiful sunshine, high 66, winds light and variable. For tonight, a few passing clouds otherwise generally clear. Low, 43. Winds light and variable. The week ahead. Monday, it is a new week, and we have a new way to spend your afternoons here on the Weather Channel. How's that? 
with my new partner and your friend Dave Schwartz. And my new partner, and new Alex friend. Wilson. We're How having are a good time you? already. We, We've we got an hour down. It's a quiet weather day so far, you we'll know, so it. we could take a little extra. Yeah. yeah, we like that stuff. You know, it's been a glorious day in Boston today, the big Boston Marathon. The weather was perfect. Hundreds of thousands of people came out to stand. Boston strong. Now, as we look ahead to the rest of the week, well, we're tracking the rain coming this way. Nothing serious. So enjoy it while we got it. It's beautiful. And they really care about today. Yeah. That's what matters. It was a stormy.